Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, today we are going to rebuild a chuck. Actually, we're not going to rebuild it. We're going to just take it apart and clean it up. Uh, but if you want to rebuild one, if you have a kit, it's the same procedure. But the first step is to take it apart and we've got to press this sleeve off. So to press that sleeve off, I've got to bore the center of that pipe so that it sits on this flange around, around the edge of the chuck right here. This, this part will press out. So that's the first step. I want to make sure I'm not going to run into my chuck jaws there. Okay. Okay, to get this apart, open the jaws all the way, or at least until they're under the surface right here. Set it in your pipe. See if we can get a close up there. Just pressing on this part of the chuck only. You can leave the taper in, or you can remove it. It's easier just to leave it in. I'd say this has been in there quite a while. It's wow! It's not wanting to come out of there. This chuck had a lot of rust inside it. That's probably what I'm trying to overcome is that that rust. I hope I don't have to heat it up. I'd rather not. I had to go get my assistant. It's not coming off of there. I think what I did is didn't bore it out big enough. Kind of a tapered edge there. It was kind of deceiving. Anyway, that's big enough now. Let's try it again. I better pop right out of there now. Look at that. Wow. That's embarrassing. Darn thing's a little hot. Oh boy, think that needed cleaning out inside? Look at that. Ah, oh, it's terrible. Terrible. Well, it's no wonder it was rough inside. Okay, here's, here's kind of an amazing part about these chucks. Hopefully it'll come apart easy. Boy, that's nasty. Anyway, right here, I'll zoom in on that. Hopefully you can see it. Right there, there's a little line. There's one on the other side of it, too. What they did is they made that piece right there, and they broke it in half at that line. So if I tap that, it should come up. 
See there? It's a two-piece. Boy, that is nasty inside. And there's all the bearings. I'm glad I didn't heat it up too much more because that's plastic right there. Must be the... Oh, it's made different. Hmm. Made different than the one I just took apart. I took an older one apart. It did not have this plastic ring in there. It's got to come off here. It's like a bearing race is what that is. That's got to come off. There it goes. Future note, don't heat them up because that, that right there will melt. Of course, it probably comes in the rebuild kit if you're going to rebuild it. And the jaws come out just like that. That is amazingly dirty. I may have to buy a rebuild kit to make this one work right. That's that's supposed to be not supposed to be broken right there. I've still got the ball that fell out right there, so maybe I can make it work. Rinse and repeat. Okay, I've got everything fairly clean here. Lightly took some wire brush to it. Uh, I don't really like doing that to a machine surface, but better than the rust being in there. I got a like a 20 weight oil coating the whole thing. Right here is uh, one race of the bearing. And it goes right here. And then the other race goes over the top of that like that and it wasn't supposed to be broken and that little ball goes right in there where I broke it so these are numbered or the last one I was took apart was numbered and this may be a trick here because I don't see any numbers Could it be that it makes no difference? See if they look the same. No, they're different. Where the threads start on each one is different, so there's got to be a number in here somewhere. Let's take this back off and see if we can't locate that number. It's probably right in here. Probably doesn't matter which slot they go in, but they got to be in a sequence. So let's see if we can't figure out that sequence here. There it is. Now, I don't know if I'm right. We'll find out. Let me get a close-up of that in case I'm right. If you look right there, there's like a half a tooth, full tooth, and then a full tooth in the space. Like it's going at an angle like that. I think that's the sequence that they got to be in. So it'll be one, two, three. Kind of like a three jaw chuck. Their three jaw chucks are numbered, but they can go in out of sequence, or they, as long as they go in in sequence, it doesn't really matter which pocket they go in. So, all the way to the bottom, bearing race on, bearing cage with missing ball. Put that missing ball in there. Hope that works. And this. 
goes right there. You just turn it till it meshes, and then the other side should go right on there. Should. I think that's it. Now you can. Look at there. All three uh, jaws are flush with the end. It's exactly how it's supposed to be. I think that's going to work. Well, I learned something. I learned a couple of things. And that goes on there, and we'll just press that in. Just put it in the other direction on your pipe that you made. Like that. Oh. Smooth as silk. I like it. Well, there it is. Smooth as silk. I know uh, you could probably put a, a thicker grease or oil in there. I don't think that would be any advantage, and I like to be able to just spin the chuck like that to make big moves. Much better than what it was. Anyway, that about wraps it up. The do's and don'ts of uh, rebuilding a chuck. Thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.